guys welcome back to my channel so um i have been getting a lot of questions on instagram and even here on youtube about my home decor and how i find such amazing things and i figured i'd do a video and show with you how i shop at home goods um i know some of the things are basic but there, there are a couple things that i learned that i did put in the video um but anyways um hope you guys enjoy <music> home goods and I wanted to give you guys a few tips the first tip is always come on the weekdays Tuesdays is the best time to come but if you do not come on a weekday it can get kind of busy especially around the holiday season so always try to come on a weekday um, before lunch okay another thing is always shop the aisles you always want to go aisle by aisle and I'm gonna tell you reasons why the first reason is Sometimes people put the wrong things in the wrong aisles. They have something in their basket, they change their mind, they don't want it anymore, and they put it in whatever aisle that they think it's supposed to, supposed to go. For example, in the desk accessory area, and let's just say I'm looking for hangers. Where there are these really nice hangers that are aluminum hangers, really thick and really pretty, that I might be looking for. I may have come in here for hangers and I would have missed these awesome hangers because they're in the desk area. So always, always go aisle to aisle. You never know if it's gonna be something you're looking for. Another example is ottomans. Look at these ottomans. These ottomans are in this area and they're also on the opposite side of the store. Over the, in this area completely different side of the store. Okay guys, which brings me to my next example. Always, always, always shop the displays around the store. Home Goods is known for sending up little displays in certain areas around the store. Um, let's just say you're looking for pillows, for example, um, and you go in the pillow section and you don't find the pillow you're looking for, check the displays because a lot of times they use the pillows to decorate the couches that they have in store. I'll give you a perfect example. You can see they're selling this amazing couch and the couch obviously doesn't come with the pillow because the pillow is um, priced for $19.99. So this may be a pillow that you were looking for, but it's in, as you can see, the furniture Same area. Same thing here. There are these beautiful little chairs, dining chairs or living chairs. And there's a completely different pillow that's priced for $149. It's kind of expensive, but again, it's in the furniture area. And the pillow area is way, way back over there. So this is a perfect example of why you should shop aisle to aisle. Okay guys, another thing people do is when they come through an aisle, they just kind of browse. They walk through and they just kind of browse, 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 browse. But don't forget that you can find a lot of awesome things that are hidden behind larger items. So if you're in the flower section, for instance, actually look behind items because you can actually find smaller, cute items that are, again, behind larger items. Let me show you an example. So right now we're in the flower department and as you can see behind this large thing, there is another beautiful flower behind there. Behind over here, there's some beautiful flowers back here and then even behind here is another small item. So always look behind larger items because you might find something beautiful way back there. Another thing is always look for red price tags. A lot of stuff that actually has a red price tag may be something that's out of season, something they're, they may be trying to get rid of, or just something that they are trying to discount because something may be wrong with it. It could have just the most minor scratch on it that is easily hidden that you're gonna get for a a small price so um, definitely do that I think I've showed you guys how I have a beautiful um, little kind of a console table in my house and it has a little scratch on the side where you can't even see it and I got it for pretty much 20% off so 
definitely, definitely check those out. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. So some stuff can be major. As you can see, that's a major scratch on there and it's a red tag. But some things are not so major and I'm gonna show you. So this little table right here is a $30 savings only because it's missing the screws from this table. So if you are able to go to a Home Depot and get the screws, you can get this table for $30 less. This little table right here, the only thing wrong with it is at the side right there, there's a little scratch. All you gotta do is turn that table around and no one will ever know that that's a scratch. And you are saving, it went from $59.99 to $39.99. So about 10, 20 bucks. So yeah, definitely remember these things. Okay, another thing about home goods is if there's something that you like, you put it in your basket. You have to live by the concept of buy, try, and return. Because if you do not pick it up, it's gonna be gone. This is a store where it's not like Macy's where there's five in stock or you can go online and, or, and order it. It's not. So if you see the item, put it in your basket, buy it, try it, see if it works in your home, and if it doesn't, you return it. But never leave something at home goods that you really, really are questionable about or that you really, really like. Okay, another thing is home goods is known for a lot of seasonal items. Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, you name it. When it comes to seasonal items, you wanna start early. You wanna start shopping seasonal items around October, November, as soon as you see them coming in because I'm telling you, but the closer it comes to Christmas, the less items they have and you're kind of rummaging through things that have already been rummaged through so I'm going to show you what they have left it is now December 15th and I'm so this is all they have left of their seasonal stuff as you can see all the big things that they have the huge Santa Clauses they don't have left so you want to start early so you can get some of the good stuff but again they only have these two sides and the middle displays Okay, another great thing that I do, especially if you're redecorating your house or you're looking for something in particular, guys, make friends with the people in the back stock room. I'm telling you, this is going to be gold to you. Um, I used to come to Home Goods pretty much, and I still do at least twice, three times a week. And um, the lady, in the, the lady in the back, and I think most of the people in the back know who I am. But there's one lady in particular who knows what I want, what I'm looking for. Um, she would either say, "Hey, I have something new for you," or "We got nothing new," or "I haven't seen you in a long time." That's usually when I'm traveling um, with my job. But if there's something that they know you're looking for, they will tell you when they have something in stock. Um, the people at my store know I love mirrored items, mirrored furniture I love huge mirrors um, I love anything sparkly so when they have it in stock she definitely will give me a call and let me know or send me a picture of what she thinks that I might like and I would either say yes or no so definitely never underestimate the people behind there um, it's okay I had to sit down and finish this conversation but um, it's a great way for you to ask them questions like when is your truck gonna be delivered when do you normally get new items um, so definitely, 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 like I said, utilize the people on their back. They know more than the people on the floor. The people in the stock room are going to be your angels. Um, Another thing is try different locations. I normally go to two locations. I usually go to the one that's near my job and the one near my house. Um, so it's easily accessible, but there are times I go to different cities and I find some amazing things. So definitely just try other um, home goods. Each one has different items that you're not going to see at your local home goods. So get out of your comfort zone and you'd be surprised what you find. Okay guys, another thing, never underestimate the checkout line. I have found a lot of great items just by standing in the checkout line. You'll find candles, you'll find things for your cell phone, you'll find knickknacks, um, holiday stuffers. I found a really cute 64 ounce um, glass um, tumbler, I guess that you would call, in the checkout line for $20. So, um, and I've never found it again. So this is where I say buy, try, and return. So um, I'm gonna show you a few items they have in the checkout line just so you can get a glimpse of that. Another great tip, guys, check out the Home Goods app. 
I did not know Home Goods had an app until one of you subscribers told me about it. So I'm going to show you right now. This is the Home Goods app. You know, on the home, it's just kind of some home good inspiration. But if you go to My Home Goods, you can plug in whatever home goods you want. I have mine on Plaza El Segundo because it's near my home. And as you can see, this purple chair, this blue couch, this um, little console, whatever you would call it. Um, all of these things have been posted eight hours ago and they're supposed to be in the store. This is another great way if you have hookups with people in the store, you can always ask them or tell them what you're looking for and um, ask them to post it to the site or keep their, their, their site active. And um, if there's something you're looking for, you can just say, hey, I'm looking for a white dresser. Can you start posting on your site so that I can see if you have one in stock? And they will keep this updated if you ask them. So I'm going to show you these last three items. We're going to see if they were in the store. They were posted eight hours. today's video again I know it was very basic but um, people don't realize that um, sometimes you just have to hide, kind of hunt for the things that you want um, I used to need pillows and I would walk into a home goods and just look in the pillow sections not realizing that the most prime items are the things that are on display so definitely um, when you shop at home goods try to be patient it's kind of like a thrift store guys you just got to be patient you have to uh, kind of go in with an open mindset of finding what you're looking for but not finding what you're looking for because you always end up coming out with something that you didn't plan on going in there to buy um if you have any questions or anything feel free to contact me um through email instagram whatever social media outlets that you choose again guys thank you um for watching if you are not a subscriber definitely subscribe um these are the kind of videos i post mostly home decor and uh, flight attendant videos but uh, mostly home decor is kind of what i'm going for um anyways guys happy holidays um happy new year and um hopefully next year i'll have some great great new videos for you guys take care